Huge news in the world of Omnipod. Inslet, the makers of Omnipod, have finally dropped information on the future of what Omnipod generations look like. So we learned a lot about Omnipod 5, updates to that that are coming in 2026, and Omnipod 6, and when we can expect that, all the features it will have, and even beyond 2028 at future iterations of Omnipod and algorithms that are fully closed loop. Welcome to the show, I'm Justin, I have type one diabetes, and on here I talk all things diabetes tech, news, and research with industry leaders on the podcast on Mondays, and I do videos like this on Fridays, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell for alerts so you know as soon as videos come out. So the competition in the tubeless space is heating up. We've reported on a lot of tubeless pumps that are coming from the Tandem tubeless Moby version. Beta Bionics has a tubeless pump coming. Medtronic has a tubeless pump and another tube pump coming as well. And now finally, Omnipod has dropped a hint on what is coming from them. It has been a while since Omnipod has announced like a bunch of details on things that are coming. And it was at an investor call that just happened where they got into a bunch of features that we'll see on Omnipod 5 in 2026 from more CGM compatibility, a new insights platform, and Omnipod 6 from an enhanced algorithm and a new controller. And we're gonna be getting into all of that today. Ashley McAvoy on stage said, we are moving a little bit faster now. And she is right, so let's get into it. This video is all things Omnipod 6. We dove deeper into Omnipod 5 updates and what comes beyond 2028 on possibly Omnipod 7 on Diabetech.info, so head over to our web website for that. But let's start with what Omnipod 6 is. So Omnipod 6 is a pump that is designed for people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes who require bolus insulin. There's the basal insulin, which you get over time. Bolus insulin is needed for food. So that's who it's for. It will have an updated algorithm. So one of those things that they have said will be that they're going to lower the target to 100 milligrams per deciliter down from 110. Now that is for Omnipod 5. That's coming in 2026. So that will definitely go over to Omnipod 6. For Omnipod specifically, there will be a more adaptive algorithm as well that's going to learn from each user's unique insulin requirements, and it's designed to deliver better performance and outcomes, especially for people who bolus less. So this could even be good for adolescents, teenagers that just aren't good at bolusing for food. This will control their levels even better. So it's great for that. They did say that the algorithm update that's going to Omnipod 5 will also keep people in automation mode more often. They didn't say what that means. What I took that is, is maybe they are meeting where like Tandem is right now with their control IQ algorithm where they introduced a temp basal where you can adjust your insulin needs uh, for up to 72 hours. They also have an extended bolus and both of those are in automation mode. So potentially Omnipod is releasing more features starting with Omnipod 5 that allow people to tweak their insulin requirements, maybe good for workouts and being sick while still in auto mode. That is my guess. Let me know what you think extending people's period in automation mode could mean because uh, that's what they said down in the comments. Along with the enhanced algorithm on Omnipod 6, there will be a new app and controller. They say it's designed to be easier to train with and easier for people with diabetes to use. Not much more details there, but it sounds like, yeah, there will be a new app. I only hope that people who are on Omnipod 5 worldwide finally get gain access to the iPhone app that's being used now uh, in the US, because currently it's only available in the US for Omnipod 5, and I know a lot of people want it, so I'd like to see that. Big news about the hardware. So it is a single pod. All continuous glucose monitors, Dexcom, Libre, any others that they add will connect to one single pod. Right now, there's a pod for Libre 2 Plus. There's a pod for G6. There's a pod for G7. That's going away with this. There's only going to be one pod. And what Omnipod said is good about this is that it will allow them to innovate faster because right now they're bogged down by the fact that they have all of these different pods that when they're bringing out a new app update or a pod update, whatever, they need to address all these different pods. And that is not the most productive way to do it. Anyway, they're gonna have one pod and they aspire, they say, for innovations and upgrades to come six to nine months sooner because of this decision. So love to see that. 
Before we get into what Omnipod 6 is not, I wanna play a clip from you from our latest live event that I had with Mary Rose, my diabetes educator. It was all about diabetes to stress, how we handle it with tech and relationships. Let's play a clip now. Hypoglycemia, I think, is the number one uh, highest score distress in my practice. Uh, people are afraid of loaves, uh, afraid to go work out, afraid to go to sleep. Um, so, we, you know, we need to come up with a plan, you know, and some custom overrides or different ways, different strategies to deal with the hypoglycemia stress. Uh, interpersonal distress, you know, what are what is my boss thinking of me? What are my friends thinking? What is my lover thinking of me? You know, um, and just worrying about what you were just talking about, you know, that difficulty of what will people think if I, if I mention that I'm, you know, having a diabetes issue. To hear the full live event with me and Mary Rose, just become an all access member on our website, diabetic.info, and you'll gain access to a bunch of exclusive articles, interviews, and our monthly live Q and A's. So I hope you enjoy. All right, now let's get into what Omnipod 6 is not. It is not a new form factor. I'm sorry. It is going to be the same looking pod, no bigger, no smaller. I think it's a great form factor and I'm not extremely disappointed with that. I'm happy to hear of all those other upgrades that are coming. I mean, an enhanced algorithm is a must. One pod, it's great. Future CGM compatibility, love it. I kind of see this as like the S generation of iPhones, how it's like iPhone 4, iPhone 4S. This isn't like a huge, huge change in the Omnipod platform, at least hardware wise or at least front facing, because there are a lot of changes going on on the inside, but it is a big upgrade, so it's an S. And then hopefully the Omnipod 7 is the one that really brings like more. And actually I will get into that in just a bit. Anyway, not a new form factor. It's going to have the same wear time. It's not gonna last longer. I assume that the cannula is gonna be the same. They haven't said that, but to me it just sounds like they're sticking to what is working currently. There's also gonna be the same amount of insulin on board, that 200 units of insulin, but it will be interesting to see as this is slated for 2027 release, you also have Medtronic, who's gonna have a 300 unit tubeless pump, maybe coming out around the same time. Then you've got Beta Bionics saying in 2027 they're three-day wear pump is gonna be coming. It's the Mint. I've talked about both of these on the channel. I'll throw links down in the show notes. It'll be interesting to see how Omnipod 6 matches up to all of these other ones coming out because it's starting, Omnipod's right here right now, but as others come, Omnipod's gonna make a little jump, but these are making a pretty big jump. And Omnipod 7 would really be that like huge jump, which I'll get into in just a minute. Now for timing of Omnipod 6. They plan for a clinical study and 510K clearance in 2026. So all of next year will be devoted to getting this close to launch and getting it through the FDA. And then the launch is set for 2027. I mean, that's not that far away. 2025 is basically over. So we could have Omnipod 6 in a year and a month. Will that happen? No, probably not because I feel like things always take longer. I am gonna say, a year and a half to two years, we will have Omnipod 6, and it's gonna be a big leap. And with Omnipod 5, we've already got a big leap coming with a lower target, more CGM compatibility, which we got into more on Divatech.info, so go read that. But like I said, the tubeless wars are picking up. Alongside Medtronic and Beta Bionics, you've got Tandem's tubeless Moby. Moby is a very popular design. It's gonna be even more popular when it's able to be in this tubeless form. A lot of people like the algorithm Control IQ because it does have a lot of extra features that allow you to stay in automated mode with customization, plus a great algorithm. And it's just gonna be, it's gonna be really interesting. But all I can say is I love this competition. It is going to push people. I mean, just the fact that Omnipod is talking about this, they feel some sort of pressure to be like, don't forget about us, we are doing, I mean, not that anyone's forgotten, but we are doing a lot and we have a lot coming. I am so happy that Inslet finally decided to pull back the curtain a bit and tell us more. Now they did even get into other things that are coming. 
after 2028, which I get into in a more detailed article on diabetic.info for all access members, but a fully closed loop algorithm for type two diabetes. So currently all of the algorithms that exist now, FDA cleared are hybrid closed loop. You need to make decisions of when you're eating, when you're working out. They wanna bring that out in like 2028. And they're also working on a fully closed loop for type one diabetes, but that's post 2028. Along with that is a new pod hardware, longer wear time, larger capacity, and form factor improvements with the Omnipod design. So we've got a little more time before we're getting that true next generation Omnipod, but hey, I will take an S version. I am so pumped to hear more about it. And as I learn more about it, I will let you know here on Diabetic. So make sure you're subscribed. Also click that bell for alerts. That way you know as soon as videos go up, Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, that way other people find it. We've got so much more on the website, on social media at diabet underscore tech. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.